Hey agents, in this video, we're going to go over editing your Matterport tour, uh, hiding some hotspots or hiding some of the scans you have done and the best practices when you're out there scanning and what ones to hide. Uh, but let's get started uh, right now. Open up your Matterport and then go to your tour you want to edit. This one I have already edited. So for, for the reason of just keeping this video as short as possible. I'm going to go to the edit part and go through the process of what I do. So the very first thing I do is I go to the start location. You'll want to move it to a great view like this one is Sedona, Arizona. I had great views of the mountains outside, but I also wanted to show the awesome kitchen at the same time. So I chose this angle and then I set it. Uh, and then once you set your angle, it won't let you hide that tour in your or that capture from your tour. So that's why it's important. Sometimes they select one that you want to hide. And if you don't do this first, then you'll have to do the process and go hide it later. So after that, I go directly to my 3D scans and then select the view floor plan option. So I see it straight down. And this is a quick way to see where all the bunches of scans are. Usually I have like three or four in one area because I'm going off one way, then I come back off the other way and start to delete. But as always, let's start with uh, number one. Scan one and I'm going to show it's on floor one. So right over here was scan one. And this house was a little tricky because they had pets, people and uh, junk. So we had to move stuff around. So we cleaned this room out and hit it in this area here. So we were able to do all these scans, but I wanted to start somewhere straight. You see this grid line? If you set up your camera straight with a wall, your grid lines will be straight. So then you'll know when something gets off kilter while you're going through the scans fairly, fairly easily. But right here was a treadmill. Let's go in and take a quick, oh, let's go to scan one. Okay. I don't want my, person going through doesn't need to get a close up of this treadmill. Number 12 on the other side is as close as we're going to get. I hid number one. You can see over here, you can see it. Now you don't. These are the scans I hid. I came back over here to realign to go back outside. Whenever you're needing to realign the scan because it's not lining up, go back to a familiar area, something with a lot of different detail and then a little line real quick. So I hit all those. I hit everything going directly by the desk. And then over here, I hid the number three because the door was closed on number three. So I hid that one because this is open on this one. And I hit 21 because we don't need to stand right by the door. And then we go out there, 23, we can walk. We made it so we can walk all the way around through the patio, all the way around. So I hid the, hide the ones with the doors closed, the extra shots, the ones where it's right in between the door. <laughs> and you, you're going to be told a lot in tutorials and stuff not to take scans right in doorways. I find if I take a scan in the doorway and then step in, the alignments are much better and I can always hide them in my edit later. Always you can hide them in your edit later. And then I hide extra spots. There's no reason for people to have to stop here. So they're going to keep going. And uh, this room, I was not able to scan. Uh, the clients had private things in there. If you want to see a cool 3D floor plan, follow this link. I can never remember which side it's on. Follow that link and I'll just show you how I got that room on a floor plan with uh, not much cost, not much effort. Made a huge impact for my clients it was a 3d tour but anyway you go through you get rid of all the extra ones you don't need a uh, real quick normally in a room like this i'll just do this one scan just as if if there wasn't a door here to go out if i'm doing a floor plan i'll scan the whole room but when i create it for them to do the tour i'll hide all the other ones other than this one because a lot of people will tell you to take the picture in the middle but it makes the room small and then we go out now if you you see the vortex there 
This door should have been left open a couple scans back. Uh, there was a lot of mosquitoes at this house and they didn't want them coming in. So we got permission to open the doors just for a few minutes while we we're doing these few scans. Ideally, you want to leave them open the whole time, doing the whole tour, tour all the way around. We just kept going all the way around. So now let's go upstairs. I'm going to show you the balcony, how we did the outdoor balcony area with a quick edit. If you, I'll show you the numbers, but when we got to around here and then we kept going, all of these started to turn into the house. So it started to turn too soon. It wasn't following this line. It actually was cutting to the house. Okay, look right here, 181. So when I did 182, 183, instead of being right here, it shot over here and it was just going all over the place. So one, you're wondering, well, how come you're at 188? So 181 over on the right, a little jump to it real quick. So what I did was I found, it took a few different scans to get this spot. I tried the scan over here, over here, and it, it kept misaligning, something was wrong. So finally I put it right here in between these, these chairs I got next to, scanned it and it worked. So that from here, from 182, I went to 183 and I just did small steps while I was going outside. The, it was getting darker, it was a little harder to see. It's actually a lot darker than it looks. Look at that view. And then 185, we go out, 186, 187, and 188. And in the end, it, because I went out here and had it realigned, it started lining up and meshing with all this. So some helpful uh, workarounds. You can see how there's a mess here. And uh, the realtor was actually in here working while we were doing the rest of the house. So we needed to skip this room, but I needed to be able to come back to this room and realign. So at 145, I had my wife scan here and skip this one and just go to 146. And you can see a little bit of the mess here. And I knew later I would come back, start the rescan when it was clean, make sure it lines up because I knew this would be my spot. I knew I would need to line right up there using these two as the uh, main points. Uh, it looks like I did 189 here, and then I went to 190. The client wanted people to be able to go in the garage. So uh, in hindsight, at 191, I should have had this door open. So there is this no vortex effect once you go through. Planning ahead is key and uh, kind of knowing what you're gonna hide, what you need to hide, uh, and then go through every shot that you keep. Make sure you don't see yourself in reflections because you know once you do the Matterport, it is, you're stuck. But if you uh, have any questions about growing a business, Matterport tours, real estate photography, comment below, like, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Uh, it is an awesome, awesome thing to be part of uh, this community. And I appreciate everybody that is joining. Have a great day.